hi guys how are you doing hope you are fine i pray that this video meets you well i hope and pray that you're dandy as well today i want us to talk about money guys it's very important money the bible says that money is a defense wisdom is a defense money is a defense as well and most of the time you know many of us you know we chase after money in such a desperate way that um uh, maybe the things that we want to do with the money is not realized and and all whatnot guys but i want to tell you that money is good the lord created money the lord gave the inspiration for money to be made it's very good but or however the love for money is a root to all evil we've had a lot of people that have done terrible stuff given or maybe sacrificed other people killed other people because they wanted to be wealthy any ill gotten wealth you will not you cannot enjoy it any ill or every ill gotten wealth you will cut your life short truncate lives destinies and people's glory but i'm telling you the bible says that they that wait upon the lord you know if you wait upon the lord you begin to mount up on wings as eagle it's not only in prayers although it is in prayers also the bible says we should watch and pray it therefore means that if you pray and if you are watching and all those kind of good stuff the lord is going to make you prosperous remember the lord told joshua meditate on this word day and night in your meditation in being patient with the lord or father god that's how it's going to make your way straight i pray in the name of jesus that the lord will make every crooked way in your life straight and every rough road he's going to make it smooth in the name of jesus guys i want us to talk about dreams when it comes to money it's a very good thing if you have a dream and in that dream someone is giving you money congratulations wealth is coming to you favor is coming to you Some Somebody is going to favor you, um, you know, uh, in some way, shape, or form that is going to bring you financial blessing, and or somebody is going to give you money. So if someone is giving you money, or people are handing, uh, handing, handing over maybe huge sums of money, or boxes of money, or stacks of money, or whatsoever, it's a good thing. It's either you're going to have an opportunity that is going to bring you that much revenue or a lot of money, or financial favor is coming. Someone may just bless you, you know, in the physical realm with money as well. Hallelujah. I don't know if you dreamt uh, maybe about you uh, losing money and until you woke up from that dream you have not or you are not able to find that money that's not a good thing it therefore means that uh, you will lose money you know you don't know uh, 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 how things sometimes can play out so if you're doing a business maybe you are somebody you're expecting money from somewhere in any way shape or form and you lost that money in the dream and when you woke up you never found that money or whatsoever or someone even stole money from you now losing money can either be you lost it by yourself or someone stole from you if someone stole money from you be careful it can be showing that you know like i always say that um what you see sometimes can be a parable and sometimes what you see it can be just a representative of either maybe someone is stealing from you can be just whatsoever you know it just depends on the whole storyline of that dream so if so, if you lost money or someone stole money from you get ready if you're not careful and if you don't pray very well maybe take a fast do a video pray cancel that you are going to lose money if you're not careful if you're a business person maybe the business that you're doing you know it may not be so good or someone if you're working with that person the person is may and is stealing from you as well it could be now or in the future so you have to be very careful you have to pray get on a fast if you can to cancel that as well and now if you also see yourself remember we've talked about you know someone giving you money if you see yourself throwing money and all whatnot and if you also see you know maybe money and maybe a rat is eating the money that's bad there's a spirit of a devouring spirit as well around you that is making you poor and that's poverty spirit the bible says that we must rebuke the devourer the devourer is the enemy nothing good can come from him so if you are listening to me and that's what you're going through know that there's a spirit of devourer around you make sure as well there's something i should have said from the beginning make sure you're paying your tithe the bible says that that if we pay our tithe, if we give that unto the storehouse of the Lord, the Lord is going to rebuke the devourer. It therefore means that a devourer will be rebuked when you begin to do the things that you're supposed to do. Hallelujah. Now, if you see yourself with torn money, maybe someone tore money and gave you, or someone, uh, 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 or you yourself, you just realize that the money you have or the money in your possession is torn money. That's not a good dream. That's also bad. It's poverty, setback, and all those kind of things. And that's a recklessness. And also the fact that, you know, if money is torn, you cannot use that money. The money is like good for nothing you know so uh, sometimes you can also have that kind of money like that and you realize that you cannot do anything with it so sometimes you can have potential and glory but whatever it is that you know you, you want to do will just not amount to anything so i just want you to 
to know that you have to be careful if you see yourself with tall money you need to get up and pray and as well that's the spirit of poverty and uselessness carelessness you know i want you to also know that if you see yourself uh maybe picking money from the ground that's not a good thing well depending sometimes on the context of it um let me say for example if you're fighting with somebody and uh maybe they throw coins to the ground and you have to pick from there that's not good it's different maybe the enemy had stolen your money and maybe they kept it somewhere and you saw it in the ground maybe you dug it up or something and just give it an example then that's good because you're recovering whatever that was stolen from you you are recovering it but what i'm trying to say is if you see yourself maybe picking coins uh you know from the floor like begging and all of that that's poverty shame if you're wealthy now you need to pray against any spirit of poverty or backwardness some people no matter how much money you have spirit or uh, physically spiritually you're a beggar and all those kind of things you have to be very careful because no matter what you do whatever it is that you want may not and will not come to realization that's not your point uh, that's not your portion in the name of jesus hallelujah also i want to talk about locked up money now if you have your money and maybe it's locked up in the spirit realm and you cannot access it that's not good it means that your, the enemy has actually kept your wealth your riches prosperity they've actually tied it up so you need to pray that it should be released now if you see your money in the bank and now there are two ways let's say you go to an atm or something you maybe try to swipe your card you cannot withdraw money that's bad because the doors of your financial favor has actually been blocked has been aborted so you need to pray to open or they have been closed so you need to pray to actually open it hallelujah another thing is if you see yourself at the bank and maybe um maybe there's a line or a queue or something you are not able to withdraw money as well that's not good you know that spirit of frustration that's also spirit of uh, uh, disappointment also when it comes to your finances you need to pray to actually uh, uh, cancel that because if you're in the line let's say at the bank and almost everybody is getting money and when it's your turn they send you back that's not good as well you need to pray to cancel any attack against your finances another thing guys i want to talk about is if you see yourself now maybe someone hands you over to you money that is already burnt or you see that you have money maybe huge stacks of money and then the money gets burnt now whether you do it by accident or someone does it that's an attack on your on your on your finances a serious attack at that if money is bent it's good for nothing it cannot be used so you need to pray as well i don't know what category it is you know that you find yourself in this area now if you see a dead person giving you money that's not good there's nothing that the dead and the living should have in common that is not good you have to also get up and cancel that if you see yourself that uh, maybe in the dream you are almost like a mad person and you're begging for money as well that's not good if you're begging for money in the dream and you don't get it that's not good uh, you need to pray to cancel that spirit of poverty as well and all those kind of stuff maybe if i missed out on a you know any other money thing that maybe i should have said uh let me know in the comments below and we can talk more about it guys without further ado i pray that any door that is closed concerning your finances the lord is going to open it in the name of jesus and any other thing that is not of the lord in your life when it comes to your finances your fruitfulness and all those good stuff i pray that the lord will open a door for you that no man can shut in the name of jesus god bless you without further ado guys it is an amazing an amazing time when i spend with you without further ado stay blessed shalom bye bye